Today is the day. I've been waiting on this for a couple of months. Come at me like that. Get out of your trash. I asked you to come film. You don't want to come film. So I start filming and then you want to get an attitude. I see how it is. And then the phone starts ringing. So you walk back up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty funny little exchange there. Look, today's the day. 2022. F-350 dually black getting the black JTX wheels. I took one outside, but we're gonna we're gonna re-unbox one for you guys Just to add a little bit of pizzazz. That is a little bit of uh, suspense to the video, okay? Twenty-six inch JTX Three wheels Should have just used the knife that I had in my hand, huh? That would have been smart, right? That's definitely the smart move here, huh? Whoa. I'm assuming this is an inner, because it does not have a cap. But obviously you guys will see the caps here in a little bit. Black, black and milled, I don't even remember the name of the wheel. We got the, uh, yeah, this has got to be one of the inners because it doesn't have the JTX. The inside lip. Outside lip. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So excited. Quick little break in the action while we're finishing up that uh, that Silverado in there. We, I've been waiting for a couple of months to get this one done. Do a three and a half inch ready lift. Uh, for those of you that are fans of the channel, been watching for a while, you've seen these 26 inch JTX wheels in the showroom for months now. And we finally got the truck in. The truck has 600 miles on it. Came from Mississippi, in and out, same day, 26 by eight and a quarter JTX wheels. Got the big, big, huge metal caps on it, the big metal fish bowls. And I, I, I love the stance of the dualies. I absolutely love the stance. Huge shout out to uh, Mr. Kelly. I'm working off the coast, west coast out there from Mississippi for uh, having his people come through and build such an amazing, amazing truck. Them JTX dually wheels, with big chrome caps on it. Absolutely beautiful. Man, that looks so good in the sun. Black with the black and milk. One thing I really like about JTX is the style of milling that they do. They have this very, very thick style of wheel that they do. Always, always been a big fan. JTX really out here uh, doing big things. Shout out JTX, the Venom tires. Absolutely beautiful. Bang. Absolutely beautiful. That's the mark for Southern Tire. When you, when you, when you come in, it's the goal. So here, we're gonna. We're gonna reenact this. This is how this is how this is how it's supposed to work. You ready? You come, you walk in the door, right? Break your neck to the right a little bit. And bam, there it is. Sweet. You be breaking necks. All right. Breaking necks. All right. Look, if you guys want some acrylic work done, is it acrylic? Is that what it's called? Epoxy. That's what it was. Sorry. Some epoxy work. This was something that we had done uh, by a, uh, a customer friend. You know, family member up here is essentially what it, what it becomes. Um, a be beautiful piece of art, homes, floors, Countertop. countertops, all kinds of stuff. But I love this just, I'm a big color person, you know, making content, I, I have to be creative and, you know, you know, making content is, is uh, provoking emotion out of people through videos, telling a story. And I, I, I kind of feel the same way about, about art, the colors, colors, you know, bring out a vibe in you, an emotion, you know, so I, I really, I like it is what I'm, I'm, I'm going to get rambling on is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all of the information in the description below. Countertops, artwork, custom artwork. His Instagram is real nice. Check it out. But just wanted to make sure to show some love uh, to my to my guy. My, my camera's not focusing right now, but right. looks great. If you guys want to come take a picture with the new artwork on the wall, it's here. A lot of y'all been asking about the, uh, the red Forgiatos up here. So we got a set of 22 by 12. Uh, custom three-piece Forgiato Kados, candy red for a TRX. It's gonna be a white TRX, doing a leveling kit and some 37s. Now, not only do we have a set of red Forgiatos, super cool, it's my favorite red of all time. I say everything's my favorite all the time. But this set of red Kado, candy red Forgiatos is my favorite color. If I ever had to pick a red that was gonna be on my truck, it would be this one. But not only do we have 
that set of four jailers. This, uh, this customer also, can I cut it open? I guess not. So he's got a TRX and he's got a Hellcat. And he uh, had to have matching wheels. So where do you where do you really get matching 40 autos? Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! Is that a truck wheel or a car wheel? It's a car wheel. It's for the Hellcat. Wide body Hellcat. Yeah, where's the truck wheel at? Up there. His car wheel is wider than his truck wheel. There's something wrong with it. Nah, it's just different off. Oh, bro. <laughs> What's so wrong with that here? Your Hellcat will stick out farther than your T-Rex. Hey, look at that. Yeah, I said the same thing. Matching Forgiatos. What's the trailer wheel gonna look like? Same thing. Cicado, 20 by nine. He's getting matching matching trailer wheels too. We just yeah, gotta dude, figure out what trailer he's getting. Bro, same so we know the bolt truck. pattern and the bore size. Yeah. He's got on, matching right? Forgiatos on his TRX, bitch. his wide body Hellcat, oh, so and his trailer. No, I got a lot. Candy red, baby. Just get this bread. No, that's I'm it. Not. That's all you need to say. Hey, don't play with my boy, man. <laughs> ah, beautiful, beautiful Tuesday up here at the shop. Got something super cool. It's been a little while since we've done this. Um, we're finishing up the Chrome FTS kit that you guys will see in another video. Um, but pulling up behind me, we got this uh, this brand new Chevy 2500 that we're pulling in. Nine inch FTS lift. So we've done a bunch of the nine inch McGoy's kit, but it's, it's not too often that we get to do the uh, the nine inch FTS kit. So we're getting a nine inch FTS. Let me try not to get run over over here. Nine inch FTS, we're getting some 24 by 14 KG ones. I can't remember if we're doing 37s or 38s, but looks like 2021, 2022, high country, 2500, all black, getting black and chrome or black and milled wheels, the, the heathens inside. That black high country is nice. I definitely like the uh, I like the Silverados better than the GMCs. Yeah, uh, yeah. Looks kind of like Ramon's truck. It'll look similar to that one. That'll that'll be a good comparison to do once the truck's done. Kind of compare this one to Ramon's truck. It'll be nice. Quick little showroom update for you guys. Um, if you guys haven't seen the video, uh, I, may, I may maybe or maybe not have posted something about it. 30s, 30 by 16s. They don't look that big, but they are they're definitely big. 30 by 16s for the any level lift. Um, the JTX. Uh, these JTX wheels actually just got sold, and these will end up being. Uh, uh, powder coated black JTX Lotus, I believe. Lotus, Locust, one of the two. Uh, super nice wheel, absolutely love this one. Uh, the 24 by 14 Heathens here, KG1 Heathens, beautiful wheel. These are going on our high country with the FTS outside. Super excited about this, love the Heathen. I think it, this is one of the only wheels that I think actually looks better in black and milled as opposed to polish. Normally, I'm, I'm becoming a polished guy, 100%. But the black and milled Heathen, in my opinion, looks better black and milled than it does polish. Uh, these are these are like the uh, the the shop ornament. Now these have been here for a while. Um, more information to come about these. I know where the guys from, but these have been here for a little while, so you guys have seen these. Um, if you guys haven't seen it in the last video, we got the matching Forgiato, the 22 by 12 Forgiato Kato's candy red for the TRX and the matching set for the Hellcat wide body Hellcat, which is super cool, super cool. We do have this used set of uh, 22 by 14 hostile sprockets, all black in the showroom. If you guys want these on some, uh, some used 37 inch Toyos, throw me a number. Just, uh, I need them out of the showroom. And then uh, another new addition to the showroom right now, these are sold as well. Your 24 by 14 KG1 swoops. KG1, I give KG1 credit. They're coming out with so many different names, so many unique just styles. And they, it, it seems like from what I've been told, they're dropping a, a wheel a week right now. So shout out to KG1. KG1 has been absolutely dominating the game and uh, putting out some killer designs and some killer names too. That one's called the swoop. Isn't that cool? Look at me, going to pick up the phone. Are you getting the phone or am I getting the phone? I don't know, I'll race you to it. Uh, I don't believe you. I don't like I don't Seriously? Hold this up. Center. Sensors over there. Pick up.
Another one finished up. Absolutely beautiful high country. So like I said in the video, we've been doing a lot of the uh, McGoys, doing the, a lot of the nine inch McGoys lift kits. We finally got a black high country in the shop for a nine inch FTS. We got some 24 by 14 KG1 Heathens, black and milled. We got the uh, Fury 38, what, 38, 15, 50, 24 Fury MTs. Really, really liking the Furies on these trucks now. We did a lot of Gladiators last year. It's time to switch up the vibes a little bit. Furies might be the new wave. I love how wide and kind of just bulgy those tires are as opposed to how aggressive and skinny the Gladiators are. Really big fan of how this truck turned out. Normally, I like chrome wheels. I would love chrome wheels, kind of like the... Uh, the big boy down there on the FTS, the Chrome FTS. Normally I would like Chrome wheels, but I absolutely love the way that these humans turned out. And then obviously we got that super nice black FTS cross member under there. We got the FTS upper control arms, absolutely beautiful. We got the drop down brackets for the torsion bars. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful truck. Love the chrome front end, love the high countries. I like the high countries so much more than I do the GMC. Sorry for all my GMC people out there. That's, that's just the truth of it, to be 100% honest with you. But another one in and out, absolutely love it. Can't wait to see you guys again. On to the next one. I felt, what? <laughs> what? What? What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? Filming here. Who are you filming? Me. I felt like I need to explain the clip that I'm about to show you. So when I moved out, I had a lot of issues with the HOA at my last house. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I thought that I had left that behind when I moved into my new house. And I came home last weekend when we had uh, picked up the, uh, the black truck that you guys saw in the video. And I pulled up to my house and me and Thomas and Bryant were in my driveway and I went and checked the mail on Saturday afternoon. And I got a letter from my HOA and I thought I was, I thought we were done and over with this, but I guess not, because my address is on the uh, the violation letter that I got in the mail. So I'm gonna roll the clip so you guys can see that, but I felt like you needed a little bit of an expl explanation to the backstory. I've had a lot of issues with HOA in my in my little bit of time Stop here in Atlanta, so. HOA. What? Stop moving an HOA. I didn't place. know there was an HOA. They didn't tell us that. Typical. Yeah, they don't tell us these things. I don't pay any HOA bills or fees or anything. So there's no way for me to have, would have known this, but I'm gonna just roll the clip. Film, film this film this trash so we're, we were pulling into the neighborhood a couple minutes ago and I was telling them about how all my neighbor's grass looks really nice right and I'm the one that has the okay grass I don't have like the real nice fancy grass like golf course grass like everybody else has I've got the just normal white guy grass right and I was saying that they all get it cut on such a regular basis that when mine starts to grow weeds starts growing weeds and stuff right so I get it cut every two weeks and no shit I come home, check the mailbox, freaking HOA violation. Like look, with a with a picture that's of my house on it. Like what, just trash, absolute trash. This, um, uh, violation, landscaping, mowing, and weeding. Location on property, dear open door property trust one. This letter is being sent as a courtesy notice. As of the date of this letter, certain conditions may exist which violate the governing documents of your community. Corrective actions are needed. Please mow and weed your property and keep it properly maintained. Fuck you. That's what I have to say. I'm done. I'm not, I'm not playing this HOA game with uh, with you people again. It's not happening. Zero chance is this happening. So, fuck off. God damn it. Guys, I'm super excited. We're doing uh, we're doing fried pickles tonight. So, uh, got all of my... I, I had everything here. Let me show you this real quick before we... Before we get too far into this quick update on the fire pit for you guys uh, i can't remember if i did a, an update in the last video or not um, i've cleared out most of the area up here i've got the fire pit going obviously got my little fire pit um, i don't think i'm going to leave the grate for the grill on the other side i'm going to take that out just leave it open normally i would have my my fryer up here now which is nice got a little area full of my trash that i'm trying to clean up part of the reason obviously that i did fire pit in the first place was to be able to burn all of that i need to get some of this chopped up and then i got a you know big log up there but quick little update fire pit is up and running no you are not invited to my house for a bonfire that is not happening but the main point of the night is we're frying pickles i've never fried pickles before love fried pickles is it weird that i don't like eating pickles but i like fried pickles is that weird let me know in the comments if that's weird but i, I like fried pickles so tonight we fry pickles Ooh. I'm actually really excited for this. 
They look good just as it is. So I just dump them in, you think? It actually smells really good. They look pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I like them a little crunchier. Uh, I obviously haven't perfected the... Uh... <laughs> no, I'm not eating all your pickers, I just wanted to try one. I've seen you try like five. They're good. <laughs> Oh, it's just a little oil that came off. It'll come off. It, no, it doesn't. It's a flying rope. They're not bad, actually. A little bit of ranch. Uh, the seasoning could be a little bit better. Um, but obviously, my first try. I feel like uh, that's not that's not bad for first try. I feel like so. Mission accomplished.